Okay, here's a quick assembly video for the, um, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, the thing that moves the triggers over to one side or the other, uh, for the Xbox 360 controller. Um, start by assembling the main components, which are the clips to hold it onto the controller and the base for the uh, triggers. And uh, I'm using a number six machine head screw uh, one inch long. Oh. One for each side to hold this together. Go a little softer that time. Okay. So it's the main part. Now, depending if you're going on which side you want your finger control on, um, on that side you'll want your shorter, the two shorter pieces for finger control. Put those on first because they'll be underneath the lever, the opposite lever to push it down on the button. And uh, I accidentally drilled through all three of these, but if you leave the center one undrilled, um, it'll be enough resistance to thread the bolt in there. In this case I'll just push it in for now. And that kind of holds it in enough anyways. All right, the trigger has a uh, tapered edge. That way you get full range on the trigger. And that would be the widest part down. If you printed off the wrong one it would look opposite and it wouldn't look right. But make sure that wide end is on the bottom and then the uh, normal squared off one is uh, for the button rather than the trigger and this is a one and one half inch machine screw number six so and that's the essentials now just take your Xbox controller Kind of slide up in there, get the hooks over the back. <clears throat> okay, and now you've got your normal trigger, and the opposite trigger button, opposite button. And you can see uh, the trigger has full range. And it's pretty sturdy too, so you can be pretty aggressive with this. And there you go. So maybe you only have uh, one digit to operate the control stick and then that kind of opens up some more options for people. There you go.